A little bit over a year ago, I made this hands-free Oreo dispenser. I posted a clip you just saw on Reddit and it became kind of a hit. But, as you guys pointed out to me, there's one major flaw with it. There's no milk. So, in this video, I'm gonna improve the Oreo dispenser and solve the milk problem. I made this one from wood and well this turned out really nice I think for the second version it's cool to do it a different way and 3D print it. But on this build I learned a whole lot especially about the lever and the shape of the lever and why cookies come out and why they don't so I don't want to lose that. So for the second version I started by importing the original model into Fusion 360 so then I can redesign all my parts to make them 3D printable while still having all the info that I learned on this first build. When I had all the parts ready for 3D printing, it was time to start the hard work. And then this is what you get. I just need to remove some supports, clean up all the edges a bit, and I can assemble it all. The cool thing with 3D printing is that you can put a lot of features in the design itself. So this with the wood was like one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood, and now it's just one print. So that's pretty neat. I cut threads in here to screw the screws in for the spring but it's probably just a lot easier to just make a larger hole and fix it in place with a nut so or just drive a regular wood screw in so for the model I put online I will change that well that's basically all there is to it now I can just have the inside part with the slide the lever to push the cookie and to activate it and I have the housing with the mount for the tube so I can now put it together and that's the first part basically done I've made it so it clicks in here so that's really sweet but it's a tight tolerance there we go pretty neat huh so model one model two I've also made it a lot smaller so that's pretty nice but I do have something special for right over here so let's go upstairs I do not have a duex through the printer, so to get the signs in two colors, I'm using this little trick. I print the base in one color, and then at the point where I want to change the color, I'm changing the filament. So pass the printer, change the filament, and that way you can have two colors. So the tube I have is the same tube that I used in my first Oreo dispenser because it just fits it perfectly. Look at it. That's a snug fit. I think this is made for Oreos, but I'm not sure. So let's put it on and fill it up, see if it works. Maybe I should hang it on the wall first. Let's do it all right. I have these little clips that I printed that slide really nice here in the back to hang it on so let's mount this on the wall we can properly test it I don't want to make it all emotional and stuff but this is where the old one used to be let's fill it up I don't know how I could have missed this last time look over here it says heerlijk met melk or nice with milk how did I miss that anyway we're solving it now There we go, all loaded up. Let's try it. No cookie. It doesn't want to come out. No. So, I think I know what's going on. When you have the dispenser, the cookies are stacked on top like this. And the idea is that the bottom cookie gets pushed forward with the lever. We pushed forward down the slide and slides in your mouth. What's happening right now is that the cookie is sliding forward, bam, and is stuck between the lever and this piece here. So 
I should either modify the slide a bit or modify this notch, which I don't like to do because it was a whole lot of work to print this outside. But I'm gonna print some new parts. In the meantime, you are asking, where's the milk? So let's make the milk dispenser in the meantime. I thought of various ways to add the milk. The first idea I had was that if you have the cookie in your mouth, you could then dip it into something as you would normally do. But that just felt kind of silly to me. No point. The second way I thought of was that I would add the milk directly to the Oreo dispenser itself. So when you would open your mouth for the cookie, there would also be a stream of milk coming in. And while that sounds really nice, I think it would be very impractical and would get very messy very quick. That's why I decided to go with the third option and that is making a separate milk dispenser. So you would have the cookie dispenser and then the milk dispenser next to it. You can grab a cookie, chew once or twice, get the milk and enjoy the better things of life. The milk dispenser is going to have a couple more components than the Oreo dispenser because you cannot just slide pieces of milk out. So the milk is going in this bottle. Then this connector goes on the bottom or the top of the bottle on the cap. The tube goes to the connector tube goes also to the pump, then the pump goes through the tube again and there's a switch that turns the pump on and off. So when you push the switch, the pump goes and dispenses milk in your mouth. Easy as that. Let's assemble it. So it's already a bit fuller than the Oreo dispenser. I have the pump over here the spring with the lever, real nice, but the lever is not switching the pump yet. So I have this switch, which I'm gonna glue right in here. And if I have that, it will work like this. With this all wired up, I connected the positive to the motor directly and the negative through the switch also to the motor. And I think it's a nice moment to test it with some milk. So let's put some tubes on it. By the way, these are not food safe tubes. So you can get food safe versions of this. I didn't have them. And if you use it once or twice, slowly, quickly, it's no problem. But the thing is, if the water or the milk is in contact with this for a long time, it can release a little more toxins than necessary or allowed. So I wouldn't recommend it. Also, if you're doing something like this with milk, make sure you really give it a good clean because milk can be really nasty. I did some troubleshooting and it turned out it was a lot easier to fix than I thought. So, let's show you. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. So, the thing that was wrong was in here, as I said, the cookie was getting stuck. And I solved that by 3D printing a little triangle that would make a smooth path for the cookie to go through. I will fi fix it in the model and 3D print it again for myself, but for now, this works. Let's test if it works. I have milk in this one and this one's full of air. So let's see if we can get the milk from this one to that one. It's the line going in and the line coming out. So this one just goes in here. This will all be better later. And then here. Long tubes, we have to wait. There we go. It's not going fast, but you don't need a lot of milk, so I think it's okay. I want to have the milk in this bottle, which can fit in there. Now I just need to chop off the top, so I can put the milk in, and you wouldn't create a vacuum, and make the coupling on the bottom in the lid. Let's start with that. So I had the first one hanging just over there, where this one's actually hanging right now. And that worked for that one. It gave a great shot of me sanding here, eating the cookie, back to sanding. It was really good, worked well obviously. But if I would add the milk here, first of all it doesn't really fit. And second of all, you won't see the difference. So that's not a good idea. But I made this. I can end them right at my workbench. Fully adjustable. What else do you want? This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna plug it in and let's test it. It's 
So let's test it. You ready? Oops. Maybe I should attach it a bit better. Don't want to throw it over. Take two. Let's do this. Cooker. Are you ready for this? No! This is good. That's not good. It's not so bad to eat them with milk. You guys might be onto something. Okay. Let's fix this issue. Okay. That's it. Mm. Oreo. Oreo? Oreo. 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 Oreo? 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 Ah, who cares?